Hey, good evening everybody. Sammy Thunder here. Welcome back to the channel. Like I mentioned a couple days ago, I did have an SGC order come back in. It came from the East Coast National. I know a couple of other content creators were also submitting because the deal was great. $15 per card. This was before the big announcement yesterday, obviously. So this, uh, this new announcement comes at a great surprise where now... I'm sure there's going to be a mass exodus of cards being sent in by other content creators and other collectors alike. So there's definitely going to be more videos coming out, I'm sure. I'm going to be part of that uh, huge exodus of uh, submissions. But anyway, these are cards that came back from um, SGC. Uh, the first card I'll show you, honestly, was not accepted as a crossover didn't meet the minimum grade that I set it for, unfortunately, but what can you do? Um, you're probably wondering why I didn't do a prediction video. This time got the best of me, unfortunately, so we're just going to have to do a reveal today, and I'll give you like my rough idea of what I wanted or what I was hoping for, and we'll see if we're close. Uh, but anyway, uh, I'll show you the first card that wasn't approved. It's the uh, 1961... Uh, Bill Russell, this one, I um, had it in a PSA slab as a 7 off center. And it just, they didn't grade it uh, because my minimum grade that I wanted was a 5. And I guess even with this, I know it's off center, but these cards were known for being off center. Um, even with, in this condition, which I thought was nice and sharp, it just didn't meet the 5 expectation, which kind of is a little bit of a damper, but, you know, what can you do? Um, I know it's off center, left to right, top to bottom, but I guess, you know, you know, I know they're tough on these cards. But still, this is a very nice card, and I'll hold on to it because Bill Russell is one of my guys that I collect. Uh, the next one is another player I collect, and it was in a PSA slab, and um, some of you might think I'm nuts for doing it because I know PSA's... Um, uh, price point is a little bit better, but to me it doesn't matter because this is going into the PC and I don't plan on selling it. It's the Larry Bird Rookie, and I had it as a uh, PSA 5, and I'm, I think the minimum that I wanted was a 5, and that's exactly, I think, what they gave it, yeah. Um, so, you know, it's uh, it looked to me, I just I wanted it in an SGC slab, and I'm happy that it uh, came back. It was like an even crossover, so that's cool. And show you the back as well so you can see it. But yeah, not too not too shabby. Alright, the next one is the Nap Lajue. This one I had in a PSA 1. That was this is also another crossover. And so this one I was hoping for at least uh, a one or better. So anything that was as long as it didn't come back authentic and uh, so we'll see. It's a polar bear back by the way. And so very nice, pretty nice, like a little off on the back, but like a little front, you got a one. So, uh, good looking one too, actually, if, if I may say so myself. Um, one of more, one of the more popular cards in the T206 set is this great looking Nap Lajway with the bat. Very nice with the polar bear. All right, uh, next one I have is a Steve Carlton rookie card. And this is the one that I want to say I picked this one up. Uh, one of my card shows, oh man, it must have been two months ago, and I just kind of held it, held on to it raw for quite a while. I had another one that I picked up at the National that I decided to sell that one, and I wanted to grade this one. And, um, you know, I used to have one in the past, but it was just so really bad condition, creases, and it came, I remember I don't, I don't know, I think I sent it in for grading and came back too. But this one, uh, it was raw, and I was hoping that it would get like a six, you know, somewhere in that somewhere in that range. Um, so this is what we got, and five. That's perfectly perfectly nice. Um, I know sixty fives are very very tough to grade nicely on it. So this one is uh, very very nice. Um, Fritz Ackley with the unibrow, of course. Let's look at the back. Pretty nice. I think there's a little bit of um, kind of a print bleed over a little bit on the uh, on the baseball. I don't think that's unusual. A strange looking cut on the bottom there, kind of a rigid like a rigid cut, and 
a little bit of a soft corner. So I'm perfectly okay with that as a five, actually. So very cool. Uh, next one, 64 Pete Rose. This one came in just like an action-packed deal for like 120 something dollars, or I can't remember how much, like 125. It was that and a Nolan Ryan 71. I mean, I'm, you know, this is on a Facebook group, and I just jumped on that as quickly as possible. And this one came back at two and a half. I mean, this one was raw. It was off center. I knew it was going to grade low. I, you know, kind of thought it was soft corners and everything. But this one, it's kind of exceeded the expectations. A three would have been nice, but you know, I'm not going to, I'm not going to be upset about a two and a half on an off center soft corner. Pete Rose, 64. I know it's a very desirable card, and I'm actually on the fence. I might actually sell this one. I'm not sure. I know I was saying I wouldn't, but I might. Uh, I might move that one to kind of recoup some stuff because I have some other things that I want to buy for the PC. Uh, next one is the Duke Snyder. I actually got this one from uh, B. Roth at one of the flea markets he sets up at. This one I knew was in a great low. I was thinking like a two, honestly. Um, you know, so it's a second year card. It's the Bowman. So let's take a look. And two and a half. That's kind of nice. Exceeds the expectation. Which it looks it looks really nice. Uh, not a bad. It's off center, but not terribly. It's a good looking card. The back uh, back looks very nice, very clean. So two and a half. That's uh, definitely um, nothing to be ashamed of at all. Uh, the next one is the Karl Yastrzemski rookie card from 1960, and this one. I made a deal with the same guy I got the, uh, you can see the maze in the back, uh, same table at the National where I got the Willie Mays. I got the Yastrzemski in like one of those bargain boxes. And I think he had it marked for like 140 and since I bought the maze, he was you know, just happy to make a deal. So, I mean, I got the Yastrzemski for like 110 And I thought it was really good condition. I thought maybe it would get like a four, you know, somewhere in that range. I thought that was... Uh, good number to go by. I didn't think it was like, you know, amazing centering, but worthwhile. Let's we'll see what we got. Yeah, so we got the four. Pretty nice. Pretty nice looking Yaz rookie. And uh, I knew for a while going into the National I was going to try to find this one. And so this was really nice to find this one for 110 in a bargain bin. And it's not terribly conditioned, you know, it's got some good appeal to it, I think. Let's take a look at the back. So, yeah, very, very nice. Uh, next one, also national pickup, was the uh, 65, uh, the rookie of Jim Hunter, Catfish. I picked this card up for like 60 bucks, I think, and, um, you yeah, know, I was really hopeful it would grade a lot higher, and I'm hoping it does, but I've got a bad feeling because I'm looking at it now, and it's got some soft corners. And so, you know, I'm thinking this one is probably now... You know, if the uh, Carlton got a five, I'm thinking this one would probably get a four. So let's take a look. And yeah, got exactly that. So that's where we're at. But good on the front. I mean, this card is known for either being really off center on the front or on the back. And, you know, it's, I guess it's, a, you know, you really kind of have to look into this card. It's not so much the center, but also the condition on the corners and everything that can really bring it down. But hey, listen, a four is a four. It's not a bad card. Jim Hunter, it's a really cool car with the athletics. Next one, 1960, Willie McCovey. Uh, this one I purchased probably, I don't remember how much I paid for it, but it was part of the package where I got the Steve Carlton, got a McCovey, uh, uh, Nolan Ryan, and a bunch of other big names. And um, this one I was thinking would probably get a low grade because the corners were touched up, is off center and everything, but... Uh, I like getting them, getting them in threes or fours, so if I can get a four, phenomenal three, that's cool, and here we go, three. This is actually really like one of the more attractive looking cards in my opinion. I love just everything about the green to the yellow contrast, uh, the rookie hat or the cup as some people call it. I've actually been called out in the comments for saying it's not a rookie cup, it's a rookie hat, which I could see the top hat. Anyway, uh, it's just a really cool, I mean, selected by the Youth of America, Willie McCovey, San Francisco Giants, tops, all-star rookie, first base, and, you know, the 60, 1960 cards were just, you know, really cool, and, the, and this one just is, uh, exceeds the expectations for me, so 
Really cool looking card. Willie McCovey, you know, really just an underappreciated bat or underappreciated hitter in the hobby, a baseball player in general. It could be just because Mays, he was, you know, him and Mays. Mays was always like number one. McCovey was number two. But I mean, guy who hits 500 home runs, you got to give him his, his credit. Uh, Jackie Robinson, 54. This one I picked up at a show from a guy who had a bunch of 54s, and that's the one I wanted, and he wanted 225 for it. And I, I wanted it for 200. We settled on 225, and, um, yeah, I was hoping to get it too, because I knew it was low grade. If you take a look at the back, I mean, I don't, you know, it kind of just speaks for itself. I mean, the condition on there and the edges, you see this little thing right there, and, you know, condition speaks for itself. But I thought it had really nice appeal when it was raw. And so two would be nice. And it got a one and a half. So that's a good, strong one and a half, though, if I ever said so. Um, got a couple of creases, but it has good appeal to it. And this one I'll have in my showcase, uh, my next show on Saturday. So hopefully I can find a Jackie Robinson uh, collector who would buy this at a nice price. Uh, two more. You got the Pete Rose 65 and a Monty Irvin 52. I'm kind of excited about the Irvin card because that one had really good centering. But I'm also excited about the Rose too. Uh, so looking at the Rose, I'm going to flip this around, look at the back first, kind of get, in a, get a perspective on things here. And, you know, it doesn't look all too bad on the back. Um, kind of looks a little bit of a soft corner there. But let's take a look at the front. I'm th I was thinking like a five or a six even. And all right, four and a half. So kind of like a, they, this was below my expectations. But, you know, it's, um, again, these 65s are tough, man. You really just, you got to hit, you got to hit the centering perfect on this thing. Um, you know, to really get those high grades. Uh, so left to right's a little off, but top to bottom looks really nice. So four and a half, you know, not what I wanted, but... You know, it's still a great looking card. And lastly, to go with my 52 Maze, I felt like I needed, I should have the Monty Irvin to kind of go with it. And so this one was also another national pickup. Got this for $40. It was at, it was marked for 100 and it was in a 60 percent off bin. So the Monty Irvin there looked really good. Condition, I don't care too much about. These are old cards, so I thought this would get a two, or I think probably a two. And, all right, got a one. I'm not surprised, though. Just because, I mean, I was hoping for a two, but, you know, what can you do? And, you know, got some, like, I don't know, paint marks or something's going on there. Got some stains on the left, but, man, look at that centering. Isn't that something? That is a beautifully centered card. Look at these two. The two, two legendary hall of famers look at that nice right looks really nice together so yeah you know listen it's um monty irvin baby i mean that's that's what we have nice looking one to finish off the round of sgc's orders all right what do you guys think let me know you know i'd love to always create dialogue speaking of dialogue thank you guys so much for participating in the last video about rookie cards and Mangini gave me an idea to create another video for y'all, hopefully tomorrow, about kind of part two of the rookie card and uh, saga. I feel like this is really taking off. Uh, so a lot to discuss, y'all. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what you think in the comments. Let me know which card you would like to have out of all these. And um, yeah, another SGC order, man. This $15 deal looks stellar. We got to just keep on that, you know, keep it going. So don't forget, Saturday I got a card show, so I'll be doing that. Hopefully I get around to do some filming. So see you then. Take care. <laughs>